Hello Virgo, it's my lady from my lady's way here and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of 9 11 through 9 18 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. So somebody is making an unwise decision. Um, and if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up other than that. Let's get this show on the road. What's going on for uh, Virgo? Make sure and check your sun, moon, and rising signs. I'm pretty sure I said it, but I got to say it. Virgo, 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 love reading. Virgo, love reading. 9-11. 9-11 through 9-18 to the 17 Virgo Virgo 9-11 through 9-18 2017 what's going on Virgo 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 mm -hmm. alright something going on with either some situations at work or just some kind of love struggle okay alright so Whatever the situation is, it's been talked about or um, you've been talking to somebody about it over and over and over, okay? Mm. This is mysterious already. <laughs> so, something going on with work. Let's see what's been saying over and over. What is this song about? What is this summoning about? What's going on? What is this summoning about? Mm. All right, so you've been saying something over and over about somebody that has been in and out of your life. So this person is coming in. So somebody's in and out of your life. But general, it could be the other way around also. Okay. Hey. Okay, so seems like you've been having visions about this other person. So what's going on is it might be some kind of power struggle going on. And I feel like somebody, you keep talking to somebody, I don't know if you're making them leave or you feel like you're making them leave, but you telling them something, they, I feel like they take off. And then you got visions and you think that they might be cheating with somebody else and they are, okay? They're, when they leave, they leave because somebody else. They try to act like that they mad at what you're saying, but it's because they are going to be with somebody else. Yeah, they keep becoming free with you, so it don't seem like they're really cheating. That's crazy. Mm. Wow, I am sorry, but this person is not sexually attracted to you anymore. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Um, you may be pregnant. Or, um. Or this person, the third party, may be pregnant. So, if your visions is this person is leaving for somebody and they may be pregnant, it seems like it might be true. Yeah. Or just starting a new beginning with somebody else. But I feel, I feel like you are fertile as well. Oh, yeah. You may have kids with this person or you just really care and love this person. And I feel like you try to talk about this and you try to talk about having babies and being with this person. But it seems like that makes them leave. You know? All right. So yeah, this person just won't open their heart to you. I'm sorry. This is... No good. No good. Alright, what's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo for the 9-11 through 9-18-2017. What's going on with the Virgo love reading? This could be you doing this to somebody else also. And it don't just mean it's happening to you. What's going on with the Virgo? 9-11 through 9-18. 9-11. I heard denial. So some of you might be in denial about this situation. I feel like some of you even had information about what's going on, but I just seen the devil, so it makes me feel like you've been being manipulated to not believe this situation. Okay. Well, 
All right, so there is going to be some endings, some final endings, and I feel like it's going to be uh, on your part. So the victim is going to end everything, or it could be just some tr transformations. Mm. Yeah, it seems like you might gather up some strength and, and leave. Okay. Okay, these cards together makes me feel like it might have been some kind of loss. Like maybe somebody physically died for real. Okay. And I, I'm sort of feeling like this was the main situation. Somebody uh might have passed away. And then it just changed the whole emotion. It changed y'all life and it changed the way you act and then that's when they start going outside okay but if it for some of you it is that and then for others it could just be like just the whole thing is transformation because somebody got strong after being stabbed in the back or is trying to gather their strength after being stabbed in the back okay so some of you you are married you are married to this person. And they slipped off and, and started dating other people. And possibly got them pregnant, okay? Seemed like you had a strong relationship at the beginning. Then you been stabbed in the back. Alright. Alright, so. This card makes me feel like whatever is here is unrecoverable, Okay. So we got the death card first. And the death card says a dramatic change, the end of a current situation. In death, life begins again. The new beginning of a new situation. So now that I read that, it seems like maybe after getting stabbed in the back by this person, you may have went on and found somebody. Or you may go on and find somebody that you love and wants to marry you and be with you. You know? All right. Then we have the strength card. Strength card. All right. This says, now is the time for great strength. However, use patience wisely to achieve your goals. You are above your enemies. Do not overreact. Confront any bad situation now. So it's basically like you got all the information you need and you need to talk to this person about this. But... That's when you feel like you're being stabbed in the back because that's when the person take off and run. Every single time. Take off and run. Take off and run. You get the strength, they take off and run. I feel like it's a reoccurring thing all the time. But I feel like somebody is done letting everything go. And then they're going to go on and be happy, okay? All right, so you got the four of staffs. And it's in the upright. It says... A great deal of positive energy is here. Success and peace are present. A marriage is indicated. This card is concerning with the home. So, I don't know. I feel like for some of you, you guys might, might may even stay in this conversation. Don't yell at me too much for this. I'm just saying what the cards make me feel. But you might stay with this person. It's probably, um, it's probably, uh, because you're married to this person, you say, and you found out you're pregnant and everything is going to be happy, but I feel like it's only going to be short lived. All right, so we got the four swords reversed. Four, four, four. Of swords reversed. Four swords. It says clarity, insight, perspective, and sanctioned execution. Yes, yeah, so it's like I got everything I need and I'm done with this. Or I got everything I need and I'm going to deal with this. You know, so basically you know exactly what you want and you know what you're going to do about it. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. And... Other than that, um, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you guys can, um, find somewhere to donate to um, the 
you can actually donate through pay PayPal to straight to the hurricane relief for um, the people who are dealing with this stuff. And if you can't donate, just please try to pray for them. Let's keep them in their heart. We're people. We want somebody to help us out too. Other than that, have a great week.